What else did I, any other interesting scans? I don't know. Any other interesting... Yeah, there was a couple of enemies in, uh... Oh, we're still... No, we're not. Okay, so here's the elevator I came up. If I had taken the first elevator in Magmore Caverns, it would have taken me right there, I believe. No, no, that's Talon Overworld. Well, there is another... Actually, I think that elevator also goes to Talon Overworld, so I would have had to go through Talon Overworld and come back down here, and then come through all this crap, and just, see, what I'm going for, I'm going for something right here. And so, the elevator's right here, so I figure, well, you know, that's the quickest way to do this. So, we're heading... Behind me. It's behind me. It's this way. Now, this is something we couldn't... Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Shit, it's too late. Ah, too late! Uh... Alright, let's go ahead and take out these nests here. Okay, now, uh... Yeah, like I said, this is the room we were in, uh... After we beat, uh... Flygra. Flygra. And there was some stuff we couldn't do here. Uh, this seemed like a room that we would never come back to, but actually... It is. These two Cordites here have uh, runic symbols behind them. So you scan those. Did I ever get the dead hive totem? I don't think I did. Yeah. Huh. Or the dead war wasp, I mean. And then you look on the outside of the columns here. There's two more, so. Columns diagonal from each other, so we'll just go over to this one here. And get the next one. Or the last one, I should say. And that'll open up the rest of this Spider-Ball track here. We also didn't have Spider-Ball last time we were here, so we wouldn't have been able to come back up anyway. But now that we do, as a matter of fact, this might be a good time to scan the, this, which is research entry. This is magnetic rail system track. Yes, in morph ball mode, we know. This is really cool. Oh, yeah, that's right. We gotta do some weird stuff here. Now, these blocks will actually blow up when you bomb them, so... Don't try to... I mean, they'll regenerate, but still, you know, on one trip up, you won't be able to... Whoops! Shit. Oh, man. <laughs> Thing regenerated just in time. Shit. Oh, man. I just barely made that. Man, if I'd failed that twice, it would not be funny. Holy crap! What the hell was that? Did you see that? Ugh. I think my game's glitching out funky sound effects. Hey, guess what? It's the boxes with the uh, 100 energy things. I already scanned those. I already scanned the missiles, too, so... Might as well be full on energy here. Now, my friends, we are about to be introduced to one of the nastiest enemies in the entire game. One of the most annoying, and one that I'll be fighting a lot of in the game, so... You'll get used to seeing these guys. These are... These are the Chozo Ghosts, spectral, spectral entity, bioelectric field, and vulnerable to natural energies. As these entities phase in and out of existence, the only way to track them accurately is with X-ray scanning. This partially phased nature makes them invulnerable to natural energy types such as fire, ice, and electricity. Their aggressive and erratic behavior is most likely due to the corrupting effects of Phazon in the Talon 4 environment. They appear to be drawn to Chozo religious sites, where they wreak havoc upon anything that dares enter the area. And so, basically, at this point in the game, they're going to be fairly easy, which is why it's a good idea to do this now instead of later when they take a lot more damage to destroy. But at this point, it's pretty much just a missile and a charge shot, but their attack patterns are so erratic, like the, um, you know, like the description said, you really never know. So, but basically, um... One super missile and one charge shot will kill these, but it's just a matter of waiting for them to appear, you know, in an area where you're gonna... Shit, I just fired a super missile and I didn't mean to. I was trying to jump. Oh, he had to appear right there. Oh. oh here we go. Okay, there. And I don't care much for the charge shots in this fight, I don't know. This is take a little longer than I thought, but... It's really epic how they die, though. I could ever make one of them die. 
Yeah, these guys are really nasty. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. This first time you fight them, or the first several times you fight them, actually, it's extremely difficult to keep up with them. Incoming scan data? This is not the time for that. There's one. That one's dead. Yeah. Yeah, your charge, I mean, your regular old shot is the only thing to damage them. None of your beams, wave, ice, or whatever will uh, do anything to them. So. Shit. Yeah, if you do get them with a charge shot and they're floating in the air and they're about to fire, it'll distract them and they'll fall back to the ground. So that's something you can do. Or you can just shoot them like crazy and hope that they die. <laughs> but I'm telling you, they take so many hits. One thing I do like about shooting and fighting them this way, though, is just that it's easy. That's, <laughs> that you can do damage to them from far away and you don't have to worry about, you know, missing them or something, because I really hate to waste valuable ammo on taking a chance at hitting something far away. What if he's up close? Then I suppose maybe, but, yeah. So we'd have a charge shot right here. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I didn't see him there a second ago. Jeez, I was just looking in that direction, like, literally. He's way back there now. Okay, alright. You wanna actually appear over here somewhere, dude? This is taking way too freaking long, man. Thank you! You're dead, what do you know? <laughs> yeah, in case I didn't mention it, this is Flagra's chamber. Which is now just a pool of mess. Okay, abnormally low temperature, we get the idea. Yeah, we're heading there right now, actually. Just give me a chance to play around here. So we'll just use the flower petals and bring ourselves up to the next artifact. Chozo, artifact number two. The artifact of the wild, I believe this is. Yes, the fourth of twelve. So, these are not in order. Okay, fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Wait. Make sure I'm going the right way here. Let's see, I don't want to go the wrong way. And now several areas that didn't have Chozo Ghosts before are going to have them now. So, what, 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 was, what was the way I took after this? I don't even remember. I'm trying to think if there was like a another missile expansion or something I was going to pick up. So now that you have the... Oh yeah, now that you have the spider ball, you can actually go for this one. Yeah, so I'm going to head over there and do that then. I'm on the wrong side of the room. <laughs> Well, let's go around the outside. I'm no stranger to that. There's a room in Metroid Prime where you get to do that, too. Metroid Prime 2, I mean. Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. That game still freaks me out, though. Just the whole Dark World thing where you're, like, literally dissolving in it. It just doesn't seem... It's just... I don't know. It's disturbing. It's like how that one guy dies in, uh... Untraceable. Just... Ugh. Hadn't been scarred that much by anything in a movie since I don't even know when. Just watching that, ugh. Alright. Let us move along here. Oh wait, yeah, I gotta bomb something in one of those tunnels? Yeah, right. Sure, that's very funny. Richard, I know you're innocent. I know about Frederick Sykes. These people don't know who the hell Frederick Sykes is. Jim, stop talking about that. <laughs> I'm still going the right way, right? No, I'm not. I'm not going the right way, you stupid hag. Turn it around, turn it around. Maybe we can ask some trivia questions while we're at it. And then if the computer gets them right, we can play worse. Alright, to the door. This is the way we wanted to go. Because there are wondrous things that lie ahead. Ooh, hey, we can get something here. It's, oh no, this isn't that room. I thought this was a different room. We can get something there now, in the room with a fountain in it. That's what I thought this room was, but it's not. Anyway, we're just going to make our way through here. Yeah, pretty much all the stuff that I'm passing, I've scanned it. I think I did in the LP, too. So, it's kind of good. The street bats, I got those. Ice street bats. I was really glad, actually, that I got those. Because I wasn't sure. Oh, you know what? We don't need to even worry about anything here. 
Okay, of course, if you don't take the platforms, then you want to make sure you don't destroy this box. So you can get on top of this box to actually get up here, so... Oops. Well... Yes, I know you can do this. DUDE! I know you can do this! Don't prove me wrong, man. Yeah, see, I told you. We're just gonna run through this, this kamikaze get here. <laughs> Whatever. Oops, eh, hey, bombs ain't gonna do much for that. There we go. Yeah, see, I already got this missile pack in here before, and this is one of the ones that I was missing. But it was so far out of the way that I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and show it again when I go to get the other missile pack that's in here. This is the one I picked up previously, so you've seen this one already. But I figured if I was gonna have to come all the way back here anyway to get another one, then I'll just save that one for later, too. Since I'm replaying what I... <laughs> because I saved over my file, as I said, I've explained this already, but you might be starting with this episode or something, not knowing what's going on, and not knowing why I'm explaining these things, but yeah.